The button down look is often a telltale sign of success but preppy clothes retailer J. Crew is struggling amid plummeting sales and a mountain of debt, prompting the company to announce changes at the top. On Monday, the privately held company announced that longtime leader Mickey Drexler will step aside, handing CEO duties over to an outsider, West Elm President James Brett, beginning next month. Drexler plans to stay on as chairman. Here are the three things that led to challenges at J. Crew. Number one, it has struggled to adapt to the buying habits of younger, more finicky and price conscious online shoppers. In just a few years, technology has transformed the thinking and expectations of retail customers, with shoppers more focused on lower prices and quantity than perceived quality, as younger consumers seek to build larger wardrobes at lower cost. Number two, it failed to revamp its pricing and product strategy in line with these trends as quickly as competitors have. High-tech, data-driven supply chains have enabled competitors to copy styles faster and move them into stores in just weeks, while J. Crew has focused more on product than speed and pricing. Quote, I've never seen the speed of change as it is today, Drexler said in a WSJ interview. If I could go back 10 years, I might have done some things earlier, unquote. And finally, number three, debt. J. Crew's debt is at around $2 billion with less than $150 million in cash as sales at stores open at least a year have fallen for 10 straight quarters. So what are some of the things J. Crew is doing to get back on track? J. Crew says it's emphasizing lower prices, investing in digital marketing, and adopting a more accessible image by de-emphasizing things like the J. Crew Premium line, which offered some items for more than $1,000. Still, J. Crew is making efforts to slash costs. It has paid its past three interest payments by issuing new debt and has been negotiating with lenders to refinance its debts. The company also cut 250 jobs in April.